Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with our main uh, topic today. We're discussing uh, today uh, the reviving of uh, the path of the Holy uh, Family in uh, uh, Egypt. Take the young uh, child and his mother and flee into Egypt uh, and be uh, though uh, there until I bring uh, the uh, word Matthew to uh, uh, 13. An angel appeared to uh, Joseph in a dream telling him to flee Egypt uh, with Mary and uh, the infant Jesus uh, uh, since King Herod uh, would seek the child and kill him. The Ministry of Tourism have paid uh, special attention to the religious uh, tourism in uh, Egypt. Yet the reviving of the path of the Holy Family in Egypt remains uh, its uh, most important uh, uh, project. The Ministry aims uh, to attract uh, uh, nearly 2.3 billion uh, faithful uh, to uh, Egypt. To shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to host uh, uh, today Dr. Ismail Hamid, historian and researcher. Good morning, Dr. Hamid. Good morning. Dr. Hamid, uh, uh, we'd like to have an idea concerning the, uh, from the start of the path of the Holy uh, Family uh, since uh, King Herod until they uh, arrived uh, to Egypt. Um, thank you for invitation and uh, first of I all, have the I to host you. thank you so much and I would like to uh, congratulate our brothers in, the, uh, uh, in our country, in our land and home, um, uh, Christians, and I would like to say uh, to them Happy Easter, okay, and uh, may God uh, bless Egypt and all Egyptians. Uh, surely that, that story, one of the greatest uh, story that happened in history, that we can say that, is in general because we talk about uh, Jesus. Jesus as one of the greatest uh, prophets and messengers of God. So a story like that, that representing um, the saving of Jesus from uh, what uh, was planned uh, to him, that is uh, to be killed or whatever by the uh, that kind of a violent, a violent king uh, Herodes. That story uh, from the beginning that showing uh, a special uh, selection of Egypt, a special specialization or speciality for Egypt, that kind of speciality for Egypt at the land of civilization and although the land of uh, prophets, a cradle of prophets because most of the prophets that they were sent to, uh, to the peoples that most of them, they uh, have a link or a kind of link uh, with Egypt even from the story of Idris alayhi salam, who is the seventh generation of Adam, till the time of Abraham, till the time of Ishmael, whose, whose mother was Egyptian Hagar, and also till the story of Joseph, Jacob, Joseph, he became the ruler of Egypt, story of Moses, Harun, Joshua, you know, all that story till the time of Jesus Christ when he came to Egypt and why Egypt was selected to be the land of refugee of Jesus and the Holy Family. That is a great story. Uh, from the beginning, uh, it is mentioned only on the book of Matthew. So that is the only book in the, uh, uh, the Bible that is talking about that story uh, about the coming of the Holy Family to Egypt. That story happened when three magians Magians, Magus, that old Persians, that they came from Persia, they saw a star on heaven. And they interpreted that, that it is an, a, a birth of a child. That a child he is born at uh, their prophecy that he is born in Bethlehem in Palestine. So they said that that child, he would be a great one and he would be the king of the Jews. So they looked for that uh, a child and then they found him at the uh, end on Bethlehem. Okay, when he was born, okay, and after that they met the king. So that was the dilemma of that story. When they met the king and they told him about that prophecy that we saw a child who is uh, born in Bethlehem and we saw a prophecy and a star on heaven showing the birth of uh, that child and he will be the king of this land. So when he told them about that, so he became very angry for this king that he ruled Palestine for longer time, could be more than 20 years. And how come there is a new child born and he would be the king of this land? So what about him? What about his children? So he decided to kill all the uh, male infants that they were born in Bethlehem. 
So that was very hard to imagine how to kill all the, uh, the children that they were born. Yeah. So at that time, the angel of God, Gabriel, okay, that he uh, came to Joseph. Joseph, the carpenter, who was the fiancé of Mary. And he told him, take the child and his mother and go to flee to Egypt and stay there till I will tell you. Yes. So from that point that started the that Vita. speciality of Egypt and they started their great road and path to come to Egypt after long uh, way, thousands of kilometers yes. that they took, also lots of risks that they found on their way, lots of miracles that they happened because in every station where they stopped, in every city where they stopped, we have a link. We have till now a monument uh, even uh, that we have a church, we have a monastery, we have something, uh, we have tree related to that story telling us about the coming of the Holy Family uh, to Egypt. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, Dr. Hamid, uh, uh, what were the um, main important stops uh, that the Holy Family uh, stopped in, uh, in Egypt and the importance uh, of uh, the renovation of these uh, um, uh, stops by the Holy Family uh, and developing these holy uh, uh, places uh, visited uh, all over Egypt. In, they visited uh, in uh, Bahira, Sharia. Kafr al-Sheikh, Minya, Asyut, Garbiya, and also, also yeah. North Sinai. Uh, surely that, uh, they said that they uh, had lots of stations. So in every station we have lots of stories, okay, that they uh, are mentioned, lots of things on the Christian traditions, okay. Uh, that story started from Bethlehem. So they moved from Bethlehem and then they went uh, directly to the west. To the west, so they went to the uh, Gaza Strip. So they stopped in Gaza Strip that's still there on Palestine, and then they come to Rafah. Rafah, it is divided between Egypt and Palestine. We have the Rafah, the Palestinian, and we have Egyptian Rafah. So from Rafah, they moved after that to Al-Arish. So they come to be on the heart of the land of Egypt on Sinai, yes. and also they were pleased also, they pleased the land of Sinai as the holy land, the holy, because most of the prophets that they come to Egypt, they should cross the land of Sinai, where the Mount of Moses, where also uh, the place where God uh, talked to Moses, where he received the, the Bible and the Ten Commandments and all that stories. So from Al-Arish, they went to Al-Farama. Farama now in poor sight. Yes. Okay, uh, and now after that from al farama they went uh, 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 to the south. So they come after that to uh, Tel Basta. And then in Tel Basta, we have a church till now, the church of the Holy Family, that witnessed that great story for them. And from Tel Basta, they moved a little bit to Kaliubeya and Mustarot. And then they went up to uh, go to um, uh, Bilbais. And after that, they moved to the Delta. And uh, then they went to Samanud and to Sakha on the middle of Delta in Kafr Sheikh, and then they crossed to the Nile in order to go to Wadi Natron. So there in Wadi Natron, surely that we have three monasteries that they witnessed that great story. Wadi Natron, so it is now in Al Buhaira, yeah. and then they moved uh, uh, to the south, closer to the Nile, and then crossed the Nile. Okay, to the south of the delta, and then they went to Mataraya and Ain Shams, and there we have the holy tree of Mataraya. Okay, where is the obelisk? Where the that tree that said that this tree uh, was planted from the water, and also uh, from the water that uh, uh, Mary, when she washed her uh, son, okay, and then. From that water, okay, so it is grown, so it's considered to be a blessed tree. And then they went to one of the most important stations of that story. So they come to the old Cairo now, where at the church of uh, San Sergio. Yeah. San Sergio or Abu Serga, there we have the crypt of the Holy Family. So yeah. that is one of the most important Christian uh, places in the world. We call that place at the house of the Holy Family because they spend there, according to some traditions, at least three months or maybe more. So till now we have that crypt, okay, that is under the ground and we have a shaft of water just closer and we have a place which is uh, mentioned there to be uh, the place where is the bed of Jesus where he slept there. Yes. So they stopped there. So surely that Joseph the carpenter, he should uh, go on some uh, hidden places because he knows that lots of soldiers and people that they follow him are order to uh, get the child. So he should be on <laughs> such a way, okay, to be in hidden places and so on. Yes. So when they found the security and to move, so they moved from all the Cairo from that church and then they went to Al-Mahdi. 
Al-Ma'adi there, even the word the Ma'adi itself, it is mentioned according to Al-Ma'adiyya. Ma'adiyya, that is the Nile Ferry, the boat that they use it to cross the Nile from the east to the west. So it was Ma'adiyya, so they call this area as Al-Ma'adi according to that place. Yeah. So from here, they started the link with the Nile to go to the south, okay? So uh, for on the other side, they went to Memphis, the old capital of Egypt, which is considered to be the oldest capital in history that was built during the first Pharaonic dynasty, 3200 BC, more than 5,000 years ago. And from Memphis, they went to Badrashin and then to the south, to Bahnasa, Bahnasa now it is in Venezuela, and then more to the south when they went to Al Ashmunin, and then they went to a very important place which is Al Qusayya. Al Qusayya, there is there, Gabal Al Muharraq, okay, and then they went up to that mountain and then they uh, stopped there. One of also most important stations that they stopped there because they stopped there for a very longer time. And according to the Christian mm -hmm. tradition, the longest time that they spent in one place in Egypt, it was over the mountain of Al Qusayya or Deir Al Muharraq. Mm -hmm. From there, they spent six months. Okay, yeah. and uh, there also there is the church, which is considered to be, according to Christian tradition, uh, the oldest church in history. Because they said they said that the altar that of that church was made by Jesus Christ Himself. Yeah. So at that time, uh, Joseph he slept because they were very tired and so on. So uh, the angel Gabriel, Gabriel, he came to him and told him, take the child and his mother and. Uh, be ready to go back because the tyrant is dead. So he told him that Herodes, the tyrant king, the tyrant king. So that's he was why dead. they left Egypt. Yes, that From, was the reason. Yeah, the, the reason because uh, Herodes no. was uh, dead and the king, also yes. yeah the king, the one who was followed him, and then Palestine became uh, ruled by a very good king, better than the one who was before. Yes. For that reason, they, uh, they, they were returned back to be ready to go back because now the land of Palestine is yes. ready for him and uh, for his message yes. after that. How so long then, did they stay in Egypt? Yes. Uh, surely that we have lots of traditions about that and lots of theories. According to um, an old manuscript, a Coptic manuscript, yes. that said that they spent in Egypt for four years. Four years, okay? yes. That is according to one tradition. Yes. Also we have another tradition that they said that they spent in Egypt ten years. In Islamic traditions, okay, in Islamic sources, they say that the Holy Family spent in Egypt more than ten years. The whole infants mm. of Egypt was happened in Egypt. And also we have from the book of At-Tabari, then the book of Ibn al-Athir, al-Makrizi, and so on. We have tens of tradition in Islamic sources that they said that Jesus he spent in Egypt till he became 12 years old. Yes. And we know that he came to Egypt when he was only three months. Yes. So he could also be more than... Then 10 years. Yeah, 10 years or 12 years. So yes. the whole infants of Jesus was in Egypt yes. and that is a kind of blessing for Egypt also to have that whole infants for Jesus yes. to be in Egypt yes. and then they started that the retour and to go back to the land of Palestine and then this case it was more easier because there, there is no risk at that time yes. so they get the Nile and they uh, went uh, directly to the north and then from the north to the east of Delta and then to the land of Sinai and then they went back to Jerusalem yes I thank you very much for uh, coming uh, today and for your valuable information. Thank, thank you, you very much, Dr. Ismail Hamid, the historian and researcher. Thank you very much, sir. Thank I have the so honor much. to host thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.